Thanks for joining us tonight. Cowboy hats and facial hair, it's maybe not typically what you think of when you picture a police officer. But in Branson, that may become the new normal as the department adopts policy changes. Color 10's Ashley Eddy is live on the story tonight for us in Branson. The hope is that letting officers have a bit more of a say when it comes to their appearance will not only increase morale, but also draw in more people to come apply to the department. When you get pulled over in Branson, the police officer who gets out of the car may look just a little different. I think it looks great. I think it's comfortable. It's quite effective keeping the sun off, effective keeping the rain off. Something I learned long ago is that happy, comfortable cops treat people a whole lot nicer than unhappy, uncomfortable cops. Chief Eric Schmidt says the majority of his officers are in favor of getting to wear cowboy hats and have facial hair. And he didn't know why that couldn't be an option. I don't think it's a secret that the, the cowboy hat goes very well with, with Branson and, and old time Branson, and it just kind of fits in with, with the image that we want to portray here. Schmidt says officers are able to express their personality a little more while still keeping it professional. When you need help, uh, I, I don't know that you really care what the officer looks like as long as he looks like he can help you and take care of business. People in Branson are starting to take notice, whether they're for it or not. We've gotten several comments. I think that cowboy hats would be just fine. I don't see a problem with it. And really weather like today, they probably would appreciate it too a little bit, having a little bit of extra head cover. Well, if you're a policeman, the kids look up to you and you should look professional. You should look your part. You, you don't want to look like anybody else out there. The department posted the changes on social media Wednesday night with the hope more applications might start coming in. I'd say down uh, in our actual patrol strength would be about 14 officers. We've probably received at least seven applications already just from the time that post hit. Since January 2021 in Springfield, officers are now allowed to have visible tattoos. While this wasn't the only policy change, the department did start to see noticeable jumps in people applying to be an officer. Branson police hope to see the same success. The chief tells me two cowboy hat styles have been approved for officers to wear. Reporting in Branson, Ashley Eddy, Ozarks First.